Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Kaiser. This is In Detention and Flight. But well, tonight we'll be checking out a game called Mortal Sin. The game was developed and published by Nikola Todorovic. Came out to Steam Early Access on 15th of March 2023. Content Steam Store page which Mortal Sin is an intense action horror roguelike where you must hack and slash your way through an endless nightmare. Death is the only... Death is only the beginning for you, struggler. Without further ado, let's check out the settings menu rather quickly. I brought up the field of view 210. Let's see how it goes. What's cool is there's a visual preset here. Initially, it was at select your preset. So I'm then I just think around. Probably going to stick with default. But this is, as you guys can see, the change in the colors and all that. For streamer, not sure why it's very like diluted or washed out like that performance for this lastly retro very high contrasting color so i'm just gonna stick with a default and see how it goes controls seems quite wait a minute wizard was this wizard oil i think i like the font but some of the letters are not too sure what what alphabet it is yeah this other game play probably gonna Stick with what it is until, unless we need to think around with the controls, but for now, let's stick with it. And let's start Mortal Sin. Eyes locked on your prey, you kill with no remorse. After all, it is either you or them, right? Sentience is fleeting, and this moment is your release. Okay, right mouse button to block left to to attack like that oh you can press and hold for charge attack should be top down set off left to right or right to left all right okay let me see initially there maybe let's see fov oh my god okay 90 does it make sense it's quite big, maybe. I don't know how people can play with FOV below 90. It's a little too close for me. Okay, maybe 105 might be the sweet spot. Yeah, I think so too. What is this? Visual settings, you can try just as settings. Streaming, try visual, try the streamer visual preset. Uncomfortable? Try lowering grain. Sweet. May you rest, death and victory still see. Oh, hello there. Hang on a moment. Oh, this piece is actually bigger than I thought. Let's see, can we interact with all of this? Not yet. What is this? To unlock the floor, you must first complete dungeon B5 or cave B5. Oh. Oh, okay. Shift isn't sprint, but rather like a charge attack. Like that. Plus, I think it's an attack. Oh, can I spam it non-stop? I guess outside of combat. Yes. We'll see in combat. Oh, space to kick. Okay, can I interact with you? Not yet, maybe. Maybe there will be more statues to unlock. Seems like a forge. Select a topic with Helena. Introduction. You approach the mysterious masked woman and she begins to take notice. Oh, it's you, the Shrug struggler. I have heard so I have much about you from the voice within. My name is Helena and I am afraid I can't remember much else. You see, not too long ago I lived a different life. Although I cannot recall the details, I can sense the remnants of a soul long forgotten. And it is, and it whispers to me from time to time. After a long pause, her lips begin to curl into a slight smirk. I say, if my stay is an indication, then you might be here for quite a while. So ask about the voice within. Lena must reach level one to unlock. Oh, sneaky, huh? Game. All right, all right. We're gonna make you unlock. I think build up your relationship in a way with her before she says much quest for absolution you must complete the dungeon cave and forest to reach final judgment 
order of completion does not matter but all three areas must be completed in a, in a single what the heck holy shit it's quite a bit of stuff oh so many levels I like that what is this what does F do though Oh, F puts away your weapon. Oh, you can actually mosh pit your way into battle. They keep holding for power strike or will win. Oh, okay, so there's two charge attack. Oh my god. Normal attack. Then if I press and hold, the first highlight, that means it's a slash. I hope if he slants the weapon, it will be the whirlwind. Oh, that's actually neat. Hey bro, how's it hanging? Drop down to explore the cave or follow the road for tutorial. Let's follow the road for tutorial. Keep it, hold to keep blocking. Block right before you get hit for a parry. Stuns enemies and knocks them back. Bash. Stuns enemy and breaks their guard. Bash is, effect, is affected by weapon speed and damage. Left shift. Oh, so that's Bash. You're not charge attack. <laughs> what am I saying, man? The ability. Each class has, poten has powerful, unique ability. Killing enemies reduces your ability's cooldown. So, arm for ability. Divino? Divino? That's what his name? Uh, say depends on request. Ready for sparring lesson? You can practice your combos and parries safely with me. How would you like for me to act? Let me see introduction first. You see a peculiar looking knight seemingly prepared to do battle with no foes in sight. Hey you, don't just stand there. Get over here and hit me as hard as you can. That's right, don't hold back. I can take it as long as you soon learn. Pain is the only way to grow in this god for sacred hellhole. Can't help but be a little bit impressed with the knight's fervor and inquire if he has any advice for the growth of the non-painful <laughs> variety. Sure, I've been here for as long as I can remember. Feel free to stop by whenever you need to brush up on your training. I can also teach you some some advanced techniques you'll need to truly flourish. Remember though, mastery takes some time and perseverance, but I can assure you the results are well worth it. In order to reach to the Maw of Sin, you must first com you must complete the dungeon, cave, and forest in a single ride. You can do that. You can do them in any order, but depending on the route you take, you will find different quest rewards and challenges. The A area is the first area you choose to be. Is the second area you choose, and so on. Oh my God! Let's say you visit the dungeon first. This is considered dungeon A. <coughs> Once you complete it, you will return here to the starting area from there. You can no longer do the dungeon since you just completed it. So you go to the cave, consider B, second area. Here's, a, here's another possible route. Cave A to dungeon B. This Dismemberment. Aim for the limbs. I'm not sure where these unholy creatures come from, but the fastest way to kill them is by total dismemberment. Dismemberment. One precisely aim at attack can do more damage than several wild swings. In most cases, you need to sever four limbs for an instant kill. Does not sound like an instant if it's four limbs you have to <laughs> sever. If you focus on the body instead, you may find yourself hitting those these foul beasts for eternity. And remember, I've all I'm always here, so there's I'm always here for that, so there's no need. Hit cancel the moment you land. A blow with one attack, you can immediately perform another hit without recovery time. Watch out. Also, once we hit the marker, we can click another time to cancel. Oh. I feel that this is too much information for now. Let's, I mean, experience it. Oh. Why is that? Why is why is that color here? No reason, maybe. Okay, I feel like we should experience it as how it 
I mean, learn it the practical way before we have, before we. Let's learn it practically before we can realize what each each point man means. The dungeon just lies nice. okay, here. Let's do that. I mean, visually, this game is so striking and pretty. Even though the color is like that, but it's still it's pretty in its own way. Off with this. Oh my god, he's not dead. I thought I thought that glowing thing that went to me was like a projectile spear of brutality oh shit what the heck happened oh my god that scared the shit out of me but we got injured for some reason I guess we took too long shit we got hit with that Oh, what is that? Sell. Equip. Equip. Sell. I'm not sure what all this glowing thing that we collect means. But yeah. Fuck your ass, buddy. Equip for sure. Oh, my God, I forgot we can cancel actually. I think I got two potions. Minus three defense, but increase health. I take the health for sure. Okay, where is the... What do we open by stepping on these two buttons? Oh, there you are. Daily weapon with spear range. Halberd unlock. How much does my potion heal for? Doesn't say. I'm not sure whether should I hit C or not. Oh, a new weapon, perhaps. Makes my health potions and wizard oils. 5% chance for vital and magic essence. 
Refills one potion and we said, oh, so maybe we can heal first if we take that. Staffs have 110 durability. Powerful scythe. Spend gold to get your skill. Let's use our potion. Okay, not exactly full. Good thing we... So we... Yeah, not too sure. How, how can I stop that? Or maybe we shouldn't. Yeah, we shouldn't take stuff from him. Like a risk and reward type of deal. Oh my god. Damn it, oh my god, that's so... <laughs> oh, it's so slow. No wonder it's so strong. <laughs> uh... Oh, that hit him, my god, the, the range on this is madness. I feel like I'll run me end quite soon. We're we'll looking at our health and the amount of potion we have left. This combo unleashes a fast, powerful strike. Oh, we have all the weapons that we... Actually, we have two weapons. What is V, though? Yeah, not to say bottom right corner, they said we have four Vs. Let's hit that. Hmm, okay, so I get increase the durability of the weapons. At least I think. I just can now critically strike. <sighs> Fuck that. Without quick strike already. I'm suffering. No, oh, it's so slow. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so slow. I tried to do the whirlwind, but it did not work. I think everyone's dead. Let's not be the next one. I think I used one or two potion during that encounter. Sell. Sell. The damage is too high, but it's so slow. Hell yeah, fine. Okay, let's use the, 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 the 
Oh my god, I forgot the word. Let's increase our items. Durability, yes, that's the word. By using that potion there. What is this? Oh my god. I was about to say, what does it do? Holy shit. Oh, this smells trouble. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I tried to kick the the, the trap. <laughs> it's dumb as hell. 14 minutes. You can adjust the vision. Okay. Let's progress. Hey, at least we lasted for each levels. New game or end game? Let's see. Ooh, new character. Much faster, has defense. But it's unarmed. Dragon Punch though. That sounds... That sounds gnarly. You reach beyond the veil, poking and prodding for something greater. Some sense of purpose, what is it? What it... And what is it you hope to find? And when do you find it? When and will it be what you are you are looking for? Okay, let's see. Can we talk to her more? My switch level one thousand. Oh, let me. Levels are game. My company quest. Ah, so for now we. I don't think we have quests. If that makes sense. Yeah, I don't think we have quests, right? So I guess we just. Hmm. Let me see. Is there like a quest button? A button for us to show what quest we have. Show progress. That's. Don't see it though. Oh, we did not take a damage. Wait, then I did not realize that. All right, folks. With that said, it brings us to the end for this intention. Look, we to click at Mortal Sin. Game that's developed and published by Nikola Todorovic. Came out to Steam early access on 15 March 2023. I'm definitely enjoying this one quite a bit. And we're playing more of it for sure. Just to... Give you the price for Mortal Sin. It's currently retailing for one moment. <clears throat> okay, it's currently retailing for sixteen seventy-five pounds, nineteen fifty euros, nineteen ninety-nine US dollars, twenty-nine fifty Australian dollars. Last but not least, eighteen fifty Singapore dollars. If you wish to pick up Mortal Sin or even add to wish list, you can find the link in the description box below. As always, my name is Ben Kaiser. This has been Intention and Mortal Sin. For more episodes of either or. You can find it on the channel. Until the next one, you guys take care. I'll see you then. Bye bye.